Rwanda is a country that is constantly striving towards progress and development. But as with any society, there are challenges that can't be tackled by the government and private capital alone. This is where civil society organizations, CSOs, also known as social enterprises, play a crucial role. The civil society, we are the voice of the voiceless. So, we initiate, we need to have the beneficiaries on board so that our interventions should be responding to the real needs. They still have challenges related to um, capacities, uh, resources mobilization. So I should say that there's still a lot of work to do um, in terms of what they are supposed to, to deliver on. Despite these challenges, CSOs in Rwanda continue to play a critical role in promoting community development and improving the lives of the most vulnerable. UNDP, in partnership with the Rwanda Governance Board, is implementing a, a program strengthening the capacity of CSOs for a responsive and accountable governance in Rwanda. Civil society organizations in Rwanda are very important. As we talk of development, we must talk of civil society, active participation. These are the organizations that are with the local citizens on a day-to-day -day basis. They understand the needs of the populations. They understand the needs of those that are left behind. They understand the needs of women, of youth, of people living with disabilities. We provide training and workshops to increase their knowledge and skills in areas such as project management, financial management, gender mainstreaming, and human rights-based approaches. These trainings help CSOs to better carry out their mandates through grassroots interventions aimed at youth and women empowerment, climate change adaptation, and citizen participation. The projects that um, UNDP and LRGP uh, finance is oriented in the area of SGB prevention. And we work with, we help um, families in conflict and um, single mothers. We have uh, trained them on diverse uh, areas like uh, the positive parenting, like uh, the, the, the training on laws. Service <laughs> ku buryo rwose umwana naha ngaha umwana riga kandi ubona hari cyahindutse mu mutwe we ubona rwose bigenda kandi kindi kintu nje nabandimo kubashimira nuko umwana kuva nagera aha ngaha umwana atangiye gukorerwa kine yayisaba wa mwana utangiye kumenya kwicara atangira gukamba kamba ubu nuko uvuga ngo no kujya kuri toilette aragenda kijyana ko nari narahohotewe bikaba ngombwa ko mbyarira mu rugo through the implementation of community-based projects, CSOs in Rwanda support community development and deepen their understanding of the needs of the people they represent. The, the continuous capacity development is needed so that people shouldn't uh, uh, forget their mandate. So, uh, and also, uh, there's, there's, there's also need the people also, the beneficiaries, to also ho hold us uh, to, to account. You promised us this. You are there to advocate for us. We want to ensure that together with RGB, we build a stronger civil society organization that is blended, that is not only focusing on service delivery, but also focusing on advocacy. If you talk about citizen participation, we still need efforts in um, 
you know, in mobilizing citizens to participate in different programs. While the, the milestones are great, but we still have a vision to pursue and achieve. So we are not yet where we want to be. And we clearly see the journey that we are headed to. So I think I would appreciate if every partner would really make an effort to make sure that forward looking, this program sustains on and even brings on board more CSOs and also creates sustainability for the CSOs that have been um, supported. With support from various partners and donors, CSOs in Rwanda will continue to take strides towards becoming more sustainable and effective and towards creating a better future for all Rwandans.